Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. We're gonna go through the steps on how to extend a LUN on an EMC VNX. So we've got a VNX here, and we're gonna go through the steps on how to do this. We're assuming you already know how to create a LUN and that you have some LUNs and that those LUNs are assigned to a storage pool. We're not gonna go through those in this video. There are other videos that I have on how to do those other things. So you've logged in, you go into storage, into LUNs. You're gonna have some LUNs listed here. Now, first thing you wanna do is before you go and extend a LUN, you wanna make sure you've got enough space on your storage pool that these LUNs are assigned. So if we go back into storage, storage configuration and storage pools, you'll see I've got a pool zero, and it shows me here that I've got a free capacity of just over 13 terabytes, and 750 um, gig is used, is allocated uh, with all of these LUNs that I have here. So I've got plenty of space to extend a LUN, right? Essentially, I've got 13 terabytes worth of space that I can extend many LUNs, okay? So you can do it through this option, but let's just go back into storage and into LUNs, and we've got a LUN. So let's just pick VM primary seven. Okay, you can go and create, uh, you can go see some properties, you can create some other stuff, you can create a snapshot, but you can also right click on it and you'll have a few options here. You can delete it, you can migrate it, you can trespass it, you can sand copy it, etc., etc., and you can also expand. So you select expand. The current capacity is 100 gig. How big do you want it to be? All right, so let's just say we want it to now be 700 gig. We want the LUN to extend from 100 to 700. So you're essentially adding 600 gig to your existing 100 gig LUN. By doing this, you're not gonna lose any data. It's just gonna extend the LUN, all right? So you go ahead and say okay to this. That is now going to extend that LUN from 100 to 700 which it's done, as you can see, the capacity is now 700. If we go back into my storage pool, you'll see that now that number has reduced, all right? And that is because of this extension that we've done. So that has now gone down. Now, the LUN is now extended. Um, now, if you are using something like VMware, for example, you'll obviously have to go and rescan your data stores, rescan your HBAs, your storage on a host to be able to pick that up. And then from the VMware side, you will then go and extend that LUN itself. We're not gonna go through that on this video, but that is the simple steps on how to extend a LUN on an EMC VNX. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.